name is Terry from the Crystal Lake Public Library. Now I want to make sure that you know that our summer reading program is going on from June 1st to July 31st and our theme this year is Find Your Voice. I have a book about someone who found their voice. It is called Strong. It's by Rob Kearney and Eric Rosswood and the illustrator is Needy Chanani. Happy Pride Month everybody. Strong by Rob Kearney and Eric Rosswood. Illustrated by Nidhi Chanani. Rob was a strong kid. He lifted heavy boxes, opened the tightest pickle jars, and always brought the groceries into the house in one trip. In school, he tried sports that tested his strength. He felt mighty like an elephant as he helped pull competitors across the tug of war line. He felt sturdy like a boulder when he guarded his team's quarterback. And he felt powerful like a rocket when he launched other cheerleaders high in the air. But Rob's favorite sport was weightlifting it required him to use every muscle in his body. When Rob lifted weights, he felt tough. He felt like a superhero. When Rob was 17, a teacher introduced him to Strongman, a competition that tested strength in a way he had never seen before. Competitors lifted more than just weights. Look what they lifted. They lifted heavy logs, atlas stones, and giant tires. Rob entered the competition. He wanted to be a weightlifting champion. Rob was eager to begin his training, but first he needed the proper workout attire. He decided to wear what all the great strong men wore. A loose cotton t-shirt, which helps grip the barbell to keep it from sliding down the chest. Wrist wraps to support the wrists weightlifting shoes, which elevate the heels for balance, stretchy leggings, because they're comfortable, knee and elbow sleeves support the joints, and a weightlifting belt supports the back. Every day before school, when his friends were still fast asleep, Rob would train. He ran, he swam, and he lifted weights. The different exercises helped strengthen every muscle in his body. In the beginning, he was able to lift 150 pounds above his head. Over time, that became 200, then 300, then 400 pounds. That's more than a refrigerator. That's more than a piano. That's more than 800 stuffed rainbow unicorns. That's more than 114 birthday cakes with chocolate frosting and confetti sprinkles. When he finished training, Rob always changed back into his regular clothes. They were more fun and expressive. They were more him. I like his outfit. On the day of his first big competition, Rob strode into the event. He was muscular like all the other athletes. He wore the same weightlifting gear and he had trained just like the champions. He was sure he was going to win. Rob watched the other contestants lift and race their way through the challenges. I can do that, he thought. But when it was his turn, he strained and he struggled, but he could not lift as much as everyone else. Rob finished in last place. His feelings now matched his clothes, bleak, miserable and gloomy. Things started to get brighter when he met Joey at a weightlifting event. Joey was fun and kind and he made Rob smile. The two of them fell in love. They trained together to help Rob get ready for his biggest challenge yet, the North American Championship. But after going to the gym a few times, Joey noticed that Rob always changed into boring colors when he lifted. When he asked about it, Rob simply said, strong men do not wear bright, bold colors. But you're a strong man and you wear bright, bold colors. 
but I don't want to be the only one. Well then, said Joey, I'll wear bright colors with you. And so he did. Rob and Joey continued to train. In addition to weights, they lifted atlas stones, giant sandbags, and even cars. One time, Rob pulled a fire truck down the street. On the day of the North American Championship, Rob watched from the sidelines as the challengers sped through the course. They lifted circus dumbbells, blocks, atlas stones, and logs. He wondered if he could win. Was he fast enough? Was he strong enough? When it was his turn, Rob stepped out onto the stage. He wanted to hide when he heard the whispers, but it was too late. He was already on the floor, so he took a deep breath and focused on doing his best. The whispers were, what is he wearing? Why does he look different? Strong men don't wear rainbows. I kind of like his hair though. The announcer called out, on your mark, get set, go. He lifted all of those, but when he got to the giant log, he struggled to lift it over his head. Everybody's looking at me, he thought. Rob's body started to shake, and it looked like he couldn't hold on any longer. Just then, he saw a familiar face in the crowd. Oh, look who it is. It's Joey. Come on, Rob. You can do it. Suddenly, Rob didn't feel so alone. With one final push, he lifted the log over his head. The crowd cheered. Rob won the competition and was named the strongest person in North America. From that day forward, Rob stopped worrying about what other people thought of him because whenever someone said he looked silly, Rob just had to remind himself of one thing, that he looked like a champion. And here at the back of the book, you'll find a letter from Rob and he ends it with stay strong and some pictures from the strongman competition and one of Rob with his husband, Joey and their dog. And here you can learn more about the strongman competition, all about the Atlas stones, the dumbbell press, the Hercules hold, the keg toss, the log press, the power stairs, the tire flip, vehicle pull, and yoke carry or yoke walk. This is the vehicle pull with a plane. And that was Strong, written by Rob Kearney and Eric Rosswood, with illustrations by Needy Chanani.